Last December, we got approval from the FDA to do a three patient study in xenotransplantation. Xenotransplant is the transplant of a non-human organ into a human recipient. We did our first of these three patient studies early in January, and we have been so happy with the results so far. Tim is now over six months since his kidney transplant and completely off dialysis. We were able to see him throw his first pitch at the Red Sox game, and we couldn't be happier for him. But I started to notice it was getting harder to do certain things. I felt like when I came home, I was collapsing onto the couch, kind of a thing. Swelling in my legs, I, you know, generally just not feeling well. Ended up seeing a nephrologist locally and started to kind of track my kidney function and found out my kidneys weren't doing so hot. When they tested those, I was originally kind of in the 25-30% function kind of range and then went back a few months later and it dropped kind of precipitously to kind of 10 or 15%. And at that point, they decided hey, we gotta get you into dialysis as soon as we possibly can. First and foremost is my family, for sure. And for me, finding time and be able to spend time with them is what it's all about. I really try to set up my dialysis to try to fit in my work schedule. Um, so I was going later in the evening and not getting home till 10 o'clock at night. One of my dialysis nurses came over and had mentioned that there was another gentleman in New Hampshire who had just had um, a xenotransplant and was doing well with it. And she said, hey, Bill, there's a, a survey you can go online and fill out. You know, I think you'd be a great candidate. I literally went home, immediately filled out the survey, and then the process just went quickly from there. Bill underwent uh, a number of tests in order to get him clear for transplant. But on the case of, of getting a gene-edited pig kidney, uh, he goes additional tests even, and he got admitted three days before the procedure. For me, it was a fairly easy decision at this point in time in my life to try to uh, give this a go and see what happens. Very impressed by how thorough everything was. I was very impressed by how knowledgeable everyone was and how willing they were to take time with me to explain every little nuance and facet of the program. We need the patients. They are, of course, pioneers and heroes to be able to be the first to go through these procedures. With their voice, we are able to keep advancing things. It almost took three decades, and this was a consequence of the resilience of investigators and researchers who didn't give up. Being able to participate in this and maybe in some small way advance medicine to a point where this might be a more regular thing for more folks and maybe give people some more hope and inspiration to kind of get involved. I hope this study allows them to then turn around and be able to do this with more folks. Yeah.